So this one is next one. Uh, the outline of population goes like that: the introduction part, the population scenario in developing countries, uh, and developed countries scenario, and the continent continent-wise population growth, trends of population growth, that is trends of population growth in India particularly. And finally, the effect of population growth, uh, basically on environment and health. So uh, the introduction is like that, that uh, the population growth, regarding population growth, it took hundreds of thousands of years for the world population to grow to 1 billion. Then in just another 200 years or so, it grew sevenfold, sat guna body population in 2011 the global population reached the 7 billion mark so uh, so this was the scenario of population growth uh, in our ancient times so this dramatic growth has been driven largely by increasing numbers of people surviving to reproductive age and has been accompanied by major changes in fertility rates Increasing urbanization and accelerating migration, these trends will have far reaching implications for generations to come. So, this is the projections through this graph the world population by region that is the old and new year, almost 100 years uh, uh, span of time, that is 1950 to 2050. So clearly, uh, you can see the Asia in the red line, so here in the red line, and uh, it is just growing and growing continuously since 1950. And uh, in 2010 or 2030, it is going very fast. And uh, 2050, it is touching almost the for more than 5 billion uh, population almost half of the world to so Asia will cover the half of population growth in the coming years, in coming decades. And second main one is African continent uh, that is uh, also growing, particularly speeding up by 2010 to 2050. And uh, uh, you can see here that uh, some down uh, uh, the population growth is uh, in the minus form in Northern America and Oceania and uh, Europe also. You can see a green line uh, for the Europe, which is mentioned here. So these are these were the UN demographers expert expect all continent expect Europe to population growth for two zero five zero source UN population review. So. Um, this, uh, this, uh, this will be the scenario, future scenario of population growth. These are the projection, however, but the scenario is uh, very, very, uh, very, very anxious about the particularly Asia when the elderly people will be more, uh, more in numbers in Asian continent. So uh, this is the matter of anxiousness in this way. So according to a world population data sheet of the Population Reference Bureau released in the year 2000, this rapid population growth will continue for at least another 50 years, still 30 years at this time, if, if, you, if uh, we discuss about it. By 2050, the world is expected to add 3 billion more people to reach a total of 9 billion. World population currently grows at 1% annually, having peaked at 2.1% in 1968. That annual growth rate is expected to continue decline, reaching 0.5% by mid-century. The current annual increase of world population is 81 million, lower than the peak level of 93 million in 1988. Annual additions are projected to continue declining reaching 48 million by 2050, that is 2050. So these are the projection uh, uh, projection data. So 
of the nearly 2 billion increase in the world population expected by mid-century, most will take place in less developed region. As I was telling you that that figure is saying to us the red mark for the Asian uh, region, particularly Africa leads expected to add more than 1 million people over the coming three decades, followed by Asia with about 650 million. Europe's population, in contrast, is projected to be decreased by 37 million over this period. So in the Europe, the population growth will be will not be like the other part of the world. It will be uh, in the minus uh, area, 37 million over this period only. Uh, projected population increases 2020 to 2050 in the next decades. Uh, you can show the world overall 1940. Africa alone is 1149 and uh, Asia 649. And Europe will decline mine with minus 37. And Latin America 108 and 56 in North America. So these were the regional differences. Asia and Africa lived in population mm -hmm. rises. 22050. This is also a source of UN population review. If you see above graphics of world population trends, the population growth is extraordinary, with most occurring in the world's poorer countries, more than 50 developing countries, most in Africa, post growth rates no less than not less than 2% per annum. By mid-century, about half of them, those countries are projected to see their population more than double, including uh, very poor countries. These are Angola, Burkina Faso, Democratic Republic of Congo, Mozambique, Niger, Nigeria, Tanzania, and Uganda in South African continent. At the same time, some 20 countries, particularly more developed countries, navigate uncharted demographic territory of population decline in rapid aging. These include Greece, Hungary, Italy, Japan, Poland, and Spain. The, this number could nearly triple by mid-century, and expected newcomers to population decline will soon include China, Germany, Russia, and South Korea also. So world population indicators of different uh, decades, 1950, uh, 2020, this time, present time and in the future 2050 how the scenario will be the total is in 9.7 billion 2050 and the annual growth rate will be at that time 0 0.5 currently it is one percent and the annual in increase in the million uh, that is 77 in 50s and 2020s 56 in, uh, uh, 81 and uh, 2050 it will be 43 so sex ratio is like that uh, is a, it will be higher 102 this time then in 2050 it will be 101 uh, uh, male female male per 100 females and percent in urban area it will be it will increase uh, like that we were uh, the 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 urban areas were 30% only in 1950, and it is currently it is 50% on an average in the world, and future in the future the 68%. So we are going to live in more urban areas in the future, and life expectancy expectancy at birth in the year yes is 47 it was in 1950. In 73 currently this is the current time 2020 and uh, in the future 2050 it will be 78 more than five years than this time so infant mortality deaths uh, uh, oblique 1000 births that will be in 1950 uh, 140 and uh, currently it is 29 per thousand and in the future almost half than today that will be 15 percent Total fertility rate births per woman, if we uh, refer this, the birth uh, per woman is 5 uh, in 1950, 2.4 in current, current years, uh, 
seven decades and 2050 in the 2.2 uh, births per woman. So percent uh, under 15 years, that is the adolescence age or children and adolescence. The, 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 the share will be in the share was earlier in 1950, it was 34 percent. And in 2020, almost one fourth, that is 25 percent. And it will somehow decrease, will decrease 2050 and 21 percent. And it will change over to elderly population will increase. Percent 65 years and older, like that. Uh, uh, 5 percent only in 1950 because the life expectancy was very less that time. And in 2020, this is 7%, 7 percent, uh, 7, this is uh, almost 9 percent after 7. So 16, it will increase up to 16 percent in 2050 as I, earlier slides I have uh, discussed about it. So the potential support ratio uh, between 15, 64 per 65 years. The potential support means uh, you can say the family dependency with the younger people will be that was earlier very good number 12 people 12 uh, person and this time it is seven it will less in, in the future that is 2050 for only four total immigrants this is very challenging uh, problem of the world the immigrants in the various countries are going to uh, uh, everywhere, moving to everywhere. So 72, it was very less in 1950 and uh, it will be current time, this is very high, 2022, 75 million. And uh, in the coming year, these are the projection, the 4,400 uh, million will be migrants in the world. So total refugees in the million, Will be it was earlier in 1950 only 3 million, and currently the number is 26 million, and in the coming decades up to 2050 it will be 40 million people. So these are the um, the source uh, with the United Nations Population Division and uh, United Nations uh, um, 19 United Nations Migration Agencies and Human Rights Agencies of 1960. So two countries have reached the billion mark, China and India, as you well aware about it, that India is second in the population number of population. Each with current populations of 1.4 billion reached that milestone in 1980 and 1980. 97 in of India, 1980, the China has crossed 1.4 billion and uh, 1997, India respectively. India's current rate of you know, demographic growth is double China's uh, 1.0 versus 0.5 percent. India's population could overtake China's China by 2027. It means almost six years, uh, six or seven years six years you can say so no other country is expected to reach a billion during the 21st century so we are we will be the leader in population growth india and china international migration has increased in recent uh, recent years as the chart was discussing the more immigrants will be in the world with about 275 million people or slightly more than three percent of the world population residing outside the country of their birth in addition, war, violence, and prosecution drove the forced displacement of people. Displacement of people worldwide to another new high of 71 million at the end of 2018, just three years ago. Among them were 41 million internally displaced persons, 26 million refugees, and 4 million asylum seekers, like the Syrian asylums. Uh, went to Europe, European countries recently. Future international migration flows will continue, including the exodus of uh, humanity desperate taking place despite wars, barriers, guards, patrol ships, and native's political rhetoric. 
governments of origin, transit, and destination countries struggle with how best to cope with unauthorized migration flows. And you uh, listened about the Donald Trump uh, will build a 18 feet height uh, um, wall between Mexico and the USA. Uh, so uh, that this is the, this may be example uh, for uh, that uh, coping. The these are the measures the countries are going to do. So to 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 influx of the people coming out as a migration, not illegal migration, you can say. The demographic trends, particularly population growth, decline, aging, urbanization, and international migration, are contributing uh, to the many challenges facing humanity, including food production, water shortages, poverty, housing, climate change, environmental degradation human rights, civil unrest, displacement, and armed conflicts. Anticipating the consequences of uh, those powerful demographic mega trends could starve off uh, security and economic crisis in different uh, regions of the world. Thank you very much.